Today we're unveiling the first ever CNBC Changemakers list, 50 women transforming business and philanthropy. The 2024 Changemakers span 17 sectors, including 15 startup CEOs and founders and 11 public company CEOs. We have five women deploying new tech to jumpstart philanthropic impact and four women shaking up sports. To put together this list, we considered quantitative metrics of these women's reach and applied a qualitative analysis to measure their impact with particular attention to their accomplishments in the past year. Now, these leaders have demonstrated transformation, growth, innovation, and success, many of them taking new approaches to fixing broken systems. And a number of them are serving female consumers with new options, such as Maven CEO Kate Ryder, who's reimagining women's health care, Miel Organics founder Monique Rodriguez, creating new options for natural hair care, we have the National Women's Soccer League Chief Jessica Berman. She's proving the appeal of women's sports and is working to close the sports pay gap. We also have several women forging new paths in renewable energy. Dandelion Energy co-founder and president Kathy Hannon is working to bring geothermal energy mainstream, while 12's Atosha Cave is turning carbon dioxide into fuel. These changemaker stories are inspiring and in some cases very surprising. And they showcase adaptability and resilience. Dom? All right, Julia, it looks like though a lot of these changemakers are in the healthcare business. Why do you think right now the sector is so big? We just talked a lot about it in our last segment. That's right. So about 22% of the women in the list are in the pharma or healthcare space. A lot of that comes down to the fact that women tend to be decision makers when it comes to healthcare. We also have a number of women who are leading the charge in these GLP ones. We have the CEO of Weight Watchers, Seema Sistani, who made the very controversial move to pivot that company to focus on um, that GLP one drugs. Uh, and then we also have women who are at AstraZeneca and Eli Lilly and not Ashkenazi and Adrahana. Sarin, and they have been really instrumental in the likes of securing extra manufacturing capacity so they can ramp up the production of GLP-1s and other really life-changing and life-saving drugs. Julia, this is great because it's, it's like to tomorrow's news today. We're looking at all those people who are going to make an impact down the line. This is the first one. What's next for the franchise? This is the first one. We want to keep it up, Dom. I have to say you can find much more on this list on CNBC.com slash Changemakers. You could read all of these amazing women's bios. And we're also going to have an event April 18th in New York to celebrate this Changemakers list. And it's going to be an annual thing. Every year we will highlight 50 new and different names so we can learn about all these amazing stories.